Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. Snow. She just looks fucking pissed. I just want Why you to am I dead? I almost lost you once and I'm not yours to lose. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. She looks like Holly. It's not Holly, it's her sister Lily. She was looking to pay down debt. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. Is Nerissa a Little Mermaid? Open arms. Oh my god. Is Nerissa one of Little Mermaid's sisters? What is it? <gasps> it's Crane. Gross! Why did he have his hand up her dress? It's so gross! This is hurting. I pulled a hair. Ow! Fuck! I hate my hair. I'm going to kill Crane. That's all I know. This is all I'm definitely going to do is I'm going to kill Crane. Uh, fucking creep. That fucking creep. Spineless little fucking rat. Crane? Ugh. God, you'd think you'd know a person. Bigby, you have to tell her. I know. Gross. What's going on? What Crane's a fuck, there? fucking fuckboy. You boy. know, other than the... I just need to find Snow. Why? What's going on? Beast, please shut the fuck up. Shit! Crane's been. Ugh. Oh, Bigby, calm down. Everything's going to be fine, okay? It's uh, going to be fine. Will someone no. please explain this to me? Crane Beast, might be please. following Snow. If I can find her, I can. God damn it! Okay, it's it's going to be okay. Where did you see her last? Did she say where she was going? She took Holly to the business office to prepare for the funeral. Lily's funeral? Yeah. How do you know? I was just at the trip trap, and I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham the Bridge. Trip trap? Are you drinking? When? Right now. They were on their way out. Poor Beauty and Bigby. Beast. They're having so many issues. What are you drinking Wait. again, Beast? What? Snow's. Snow's been through a lot. There are things she doesn't talk about. Just please be careful when you tell her. What are you trying to say? You mean? know how you felt when you saw that picture? Well, it's going to be much worse for her. Rose! Just remember that. Dude, no, she's gonna be like, fuck this man, we're going in. After this guy, we're gonna fucking rip his arms off! They have some serious marital problems. Not serious though, because they still love each other. They just lie about stupid shit. But they still love each other. Beauty and the Beast forever, okay? They're my OTP. Don't talk about Beauty and the Beast like that. I love them so much. I'm um, honored to be asked to speak to you. What? We should let everyone speak. Why is there? Lily had many friends. Oh, it's the funeral. Fables she was truly close to. If you're here, then you were part of a very special circle. People she trusted and cared for. No, he does know she's working I won't, there. Um, offend he, you he just found by out. claiming one day that that the pain of losing Lily will ever subside. You don't need to interrupt her, you can let her have the you, funeral. It will never subside. But I also know that that the memory of Lily will sustain as this? well. And it will, in time, equal in strength to our mourning her loss. I'll miss worrying about you. And it is in that you. spirit that I'd I'll like to talk about fights. what you've I'll all been you. so grateful to share with Holly. me. Your memories of her. Look at this sweet she fucking could be helmet. Stubborn and patient, rash and thoughtful. Now you will she never die a torch from indifference for the old ways, or lead a or tedious life. For, um, Goodbye, sweetheart. Pageantry. 
Thanks for most everything. Of all, it seems Vivian. how Lily loved, dearly loved her friends and family. She you loved were a big, being around bright, them. shining star in, good times in this shithole of I never town. met Lily, but and I from miss you already. What I've been told, Gran. I know in my heart that she would have oh, liked a bottle of liquor. And now we'll have our um, moment of silence. Thank you. Bigby, is everything okay? No, not you. What? Why are you Holly wearing that to your he sister's wasn't funeral? Invited. Holly, wait. He has no right to be here. Not after what he did. Holly, I'm sorry, but I had to come. You throw my sister down the witching well, and you have the nerve to show your face here. Wait, what? After you lie and say you'll check first. Holly, wait. That was Crane. Just Crane. He disposed of Lily's body before Big B could do anything about it. I'm telling you the truth. Don't cover for him. But this genuinely wasn't his fault. You can't tell me Big B gives a shit about this. I'm sorry, Holly. I, I didn't know he put her down the witching well. Big Damn, B Holly, calm Holly. down. He's trying to help. And I'm sure he has a very good reason for being here. But this one isn't on him. Why are you here anyway? And don't say it's because you care about this. Everything okay? Uh... I'm here to talk to Snow. Oh, really? Yes, Holly. This is serious. Okay, okay, look. Bigby and I are going to have a little chat far away from the ceremony, alright? Look. Holly, I know how this must No, you don't know how this must feel. You have no idea. Holly, shut don't the fuck up! Don't fuck anything up. Don't bother anybody. And when the first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it, I want you the fuck out of here. You hear me? Holly, I didn't even want to crash this, okay? I had to, because of snow. I'll be out of here soon. See that you are. Let's just continue, okay? This is such total fucking bullshit. Let's go, Holly. It's your turn to talk. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to crash the funeral! I didn't mean it! This Listen. better be wildly important. Yes. It's been hard enough making a connection with these people. When you pull this kind of stuff, it just resets the clock. Lily was Crane's prostitute. I followed a lead to this shithole motel, the Open Arms. Crane had a room there, and he's been taking prostitutes, or at the very least Lily, and making her look like you while he was... you know. This is... I don't even know what to say right now. I really don't. I'm... Just trying everything I can right now to not picture it. I'm sorry, Snow. And I'm sorry I had to be the one to tell you. You're sure this is what happened? This is what he's been doing? Because please, Bigby, don't confuse things. Oh, Supposing God. Crane would be the next step. Crane has been taking photos, Snow. Lots of photos. Photos that show him... He's been recording his visits with Lily. Oh, God. Oh, God. Look, let's go back to the business office. I doubt Crane's there at this hour, but we need to talk. And this isn't the place. Snow? Nerissa? What is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they starting to burn? Yes. Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. She's kind of distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? Two minutes. I don't mean to be... Um, no, I understand. No, I get it. Take your it's time. It's fine. It do your thing, long. and I'll be waiting. To... Oh, How'd it go at the motel? Did you find anything? Uh, no? yeah. I uh, I did. It helped a lot. Thanks. Gotta keep these details. Nerissa. Yeah. Um. 
coming. Can't be blobbing or blabbing around town about what happened. Why is everyone dressed so scantily clad? Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Easy now, girl. What the you fuck? You know how this goes. The first thing in a visit, you say, how do you do? How do you do? Now is really not the time for whatever you Jagovs are planning to do. Well, isn't that the thing of it? Plans. Except it isn't our plans you should be concerning yourself with. We'll snip to the chase for all sakes. A little bird told us that you're fitting to go after Crane. And you see, we have an interest in that particular boy. So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. Just take real? a vacation is all. Don't even have to go anywhere. Just sit in your office and whistle to heaven for a few short days. Are you working for Crane? Did he send you? No, see now, you're already asking too many questions. Just pay attention. So what's it gonna be? We have a deal? You leave Crane alone and we leave you to yours? Brother, speak your mind. Fastly now. Uh... Be? You think this act you got going scares me? Cause it doesn't. Always wanting to do things the fun way. Ladies, gentlemen, invertebrates, please, rest easy. This is not... What the hell is going on? What's happening? Very sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. And we're unhappy to report that things did not go as smoothly as planned. Bigby, what is he talking about? Never you mind that, it ain't any of your... They want me to leave Crane alone. Crane? Oh, now you shouldn't have done that, old boy. Really. That wasn't right, telling everyone our dealings. You're a fucking dumb asshole. And now Holly is gonna fucking lose her shit. What did I say? Holly? You think you motherfuckers could come here uninvited? You think you could just fucking interrupt Lily's funeral? Calm down, darling. It was just a simple business transaction. You fucking freaks are not getting away with this. Holly, don't move. Yeah, listen to your lady love. Things uh, don't have to turn sloppy now. It's not worth it, Holly. They'll leave on their own. Yeah, let's spare all the fuss. It's just a dead hole. Oh, God, no, now you. you're dead. Well. Holly. Holly. Oh, God. What? He's a fable. A, a simple shotgun shouldn't kill her, right? <laughs> Watch out, Snow! The fucking gun is pointing right at you! God damn it. Oh, Jesus. She only took one shotgun hit. She's. How is she dead? Can't be dead. She's probably fine. She's probably fine. I mean, having a second arm could be useful. Well, when you're a dick, you get it ripped off. That's just what happens. You're gonna be an asshole, or you're gonna lose your arm. Uh, what just happened? Uh, uh, all right, there we go. I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually warm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're going to be sore. Bigby, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fable Town physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. <sighs> Don't go looking There's for like any a more fights. Sound. Keep strain off your heart. 
How's everyone else? They all make it? They're fine. Well, that's I had good. everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived. So I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. The Titans, Bigby. They'll be fine. Just remember what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. Everything in moderation. What's that supposed to be, Mr. Swinehart? And, uh, eat more chicken. Your blood pressure's through the proverbial roof. I'll try to. Right. All right then. Very good. Damn, big me looking fine. Business office. I know. I'll have to call you back. The town is starting to find out. The well, I'll leave you two to it then. <laughs> Miss White, Big B. So, to recap. Crane watched me through the magic mirror uncover his room at the open arms, and then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after him. And we know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. That about cover it? And once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. So, I guess that's the plan, currently. But I, I don't know. We don't have time to wait for the mirror. Crane could be getting on a train right now. Well, I don't want to just go running off into the night without some direction. What the hell is going on? Just, I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if... I mean, this is going to sound crazy, but do you really think Crane did it? Everything points to him. I get it. But do you really think he killed those women? Because it's just... It's incomprehensible. I don't I know if he killed them, but he's honest. gross. I don't know. It just doesn't make sense. He's... He was a conniver. A, a coward. A liar. And I'll always hate him for that. And I'll hate him for he's, how he held me in his thoughts. He's creepy and gross, but I don't know. That murdering prostitutes. Ow. Everything okay over there? Yes, Miss White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. He doesn't have any Thanks motive tonight, to kill the other chick. The that could have gone really terribly. I mean, even worse than it did. I just feel bad for Holly, really. Yeah. Time heals everything eventually. At least, I hope so, for her sake. Can I, um ask you a question it's kind of personal and uh, I, I don't want to offend you sure it's just when stuff hits the fan like like it did tonight it feels like before we came to the city it feels kind of like home and I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way deep inside you kind of enjoy it when things go wrong. Because it gives you an excuse to just, you know, stop pretending. Why even bring this up? I guess it doesn't matter. What are you trying to get at? Uh, guys? I don't get this. We have a problem. What is it? I can't missing? finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Of course it is. What do you mean? Missing a piece. Yes, it's a uh... crane must have taken a shard with him. Oh, I can't believe this. I saw crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. Well, the mirror can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Or what, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting is an option. No. Uh, we can't depend on the mirror. All right. How long will it take for the mirror to reform? Well, it could take days. Or months, or years. He had to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. Shut up, Buffkin! We can still solve this ourselves. I know never that Never mind that. Come help me look. Thanks for trying, Buffkin. I appreciate it, you alcoholic monkey! I talked to him. 
hi, Mr. Bigby. I can still help you catch Crane, you know. Oh, yeah? Yes. I saw him jump on the telephone before he left. He called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. His witch? Yes, it sounded like the one he got his snowblamers from. Hmm. Look, uh, the whole mirror thing, it's not your fault, all right? Y you mean it? Yeah. You didn't see anything else, did you? No, not, uh, not especially. I don't want to mask him now, that's mean. I'll just see if I can do anything about this. You do that. All right, Buffkin. He's so cute, I can't be mad at him. He's a cute little drunk monkey. I feel camaraderie with him because he's drunk and a monkey. Let's look at Crane's desk. I said, look at Crane's desk! What are these notes? Files? Wayland Smith. I'm going to ask again that you please send someone to fix the air conditioning in our unit. Oh, Pinocchio says his skin is splintering. Boy blue. You said you'd pay to have the plaster redone. My building was the last incident to a floor falling off the fucking walls. Get your shit together. Did Crane ever do any work? Only when Cole was around. What Rose. Is it? It's the key to his room at the open arms. You still haven't told me what was in there. I want to know. A lot of blood and flowers. I keep thinking back. I keep replaying moments in my head. Interactions with him when he'd catch me in the elevator or bump into me outside. <sighs> There's only so much Creepy. you can press, you know? Don't worry, Snow. We'll get him. Crane is a Come pretty on, fucking useless. Looking. Director of operations of operating nothing. Just rip it. There you go. What's this? There's a page here that was torn out. Oh yeah? Buffkin, do you know what was here? It's a ring, at least. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Wait, what witch? Buffkin overheard Crane set up a meeting with a witch. Well, yes, it sounded like the one he got his, uh, you glamours from. It must be about this ring. Why not mention this before? No one asked me. Buffkin! And I'm hungover, I'm sorry. He Classic Buffkin. Always hungover. Tonight. What's going on? Is the mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, oh, this oh isn't Christ, the time. Not this guy. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called I me called to- I called just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? I tried this to, but- This isn't your concern. Bluebeard, get the hell out of here. This is none of your business. None of my business? Crane's the murderer. He escaped. It seems he spoiled your every attempt at locating him. And now it's none of my business? We don't know what to do with you, Bluebeard. Oh, please. Of course he is. 
Look, this is how they just do the with you, Blue Bear. Get, get out! Mirror, so we can't use it. Get out! The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at two o'clock. A.M. or P.M.? A.M. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. Define help. Oh, I had a thing. It's okay, we can all work together, right? Not with this asshole. Look, we know that Crane is going to see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. I mean, who put you in charge in the first place? Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's the sheriff. And none of you were chosen to run this office. Who, who the fuck is this these guy? Decisions? Nobody, but that who doesn't... What is his position here? Well, I've been doing that oh. unofficially for years now. Unofficially is not officially. I'm heading up the investigation, okay, Bluebeard? That makes this a moot point. And somebody needs to run the business office while he does so. Well then, excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. <sighs> Alright, let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. And that he'll be there at two. So, that gives us a few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours the more you babble about it. We haven't been the ones babbling. Yeah, yeah. Just point in the direction you want me to check first. Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they'd never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else? The Trip Trap is the better option to God track the witch down. That has to be our focus. Look, chances are I'll have to swing by both anyway, No, so... chances are you won't have time. God damn it! I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock! <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just can't go up there alone, all right? I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh. Now it's evidence. Before you had no interest, and now it's a crime scene. Bluebeard, just stay out of it, all right? This guy is so annoying. Oh, I hate him. You can't get it. <sighs> we have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. Or the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere. Yeah, I forgot that Bluebeard has right like a shitload of money, and he's like basically that guy. Crafting a fort out of couch cushions. Look, this is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. He's up to something. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. <sighs> Where are you gonna go, Bigby? For real? So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy, and I don't need charity. Fuck, dude. Uh, I don't know! I don't know where to go! Uh... Uh, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. The witch's Good identity Holly. must be with Lily's stuff. I should go see Holly first. Perfect. And I'll go to Crane's apartment. I'll check in with you later. I hope you know what you're doing. I don't know at all what I'm doing.
<laughs> She's asleep, you fucking idiot. You didn't even give me... I wanted to listen. I don't know if I want to say anything. Shit. Uh, I'm gonna open the door. Well, read the sign. I need to talk to Holly. Hey, look, Woody, it's the sheriff. Well, come on in, buddy. Are they drunk? They're all drunk. Brent, what? He's a traveler. A weary traveler in search of some hospitality, right? Yeah, sure. Thanks. I want a drink. Anybody else want a drink? Friend, Swinehart said you shouldn't mix you it. You think I give a fuck what that fucking guy says? Or what you say? All right, they have... They're all in that, like, weird... Oh, God, Brent, they're all drugged really, and stuff. You shouldn't drink right now. Swinehart told me that Holly was here. I need to talk to her. Holly's asleep in back, but you won't be able to wake her. Really? The doc gave him both barmesidal ambrosia for the pain. Look, the deal is, if you resist going to sleep like I am right now, it gives you a very, very, very nice high. And he said that he shouldn't mix it with alcohol. Yes, he did. He certainly did. But let me tell you something. I haven't felt this good in a long time, fat boy. And I feel like having a drink. God damn it, guys! Okay? I'm after Crane, all right? The guy we all hate? And there's a time limit here, so try and focus for a minute. Crane? We'll get to whatever you're here for in a sec. That funeral back there? That was a shitty fucking send-off for a pretty okay lady. Yeah. You weren't fucking there. Talking to Bigby now, okay? Poor woodsman. Although, no, he's a- I'd say you he's being there helped things much. Gren, don't start nothing. Who's starting anything? I'm not. I'm just gonna be silent. Whatever. It's alright. I'm too out of it to get into it. I want to clear the air. We're all in this dung heap of a fucking shit town together. And we're all gonna have a toast. All of us. I don't have Let's time for this! Here for one thing. To look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. Now, yeah, right? yeah, I know, I know. And I want to help you, okay? And I will. But first, indulge me. It'll take two seconds. As a show of good faith. And after, we'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. Grand Bigby didn't come here to get loaded with you. I don't want to get loaded with him. It's just a quick slug. Not gonna hurt anybody. I'll have a quick drink. Just to appease them. To the dead. All right, now help me. Gren, the doc said you needed to rest. How many times you fucking gonna warn me about it, huh? You're not my fucking mother, so just get off my back! I said I was sorry, alright? I can't do anything about it, it's done! God damn it, just let them kill each other. Oh god. Just go look for Lily's things while I duke this out! What more do you want? What else can I fucking say here? I absolutely cannot babysit you dumbasses right now. So end whatever this is, so we can just move past it. 
Oh, I forgot. You haven't heard the news. This walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her behind all of our backs. And Holly had to find out going through all of her sister's shit. What fun that must have been. Trick after trick of this fat ass and Lily. I didn't plan for that, all right? And our thing, whatever it was, it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't. I never fucked her when she was snowing. I didn't know nothing about that. No, but Poor you Woodsman. knew Holly would flip out, and you just knew got a bunch of prostitutes. He's just a sad reason. man, sad fucking drunk man. You know what? Fuck this. I don't need this shit. Oh yeah, that's it. Now you're teary-eyed. You were always such a low life. I don't know why I never realized it till now. What do you think about this fucking loser, Sheriff? He can think whatever he wants. I don't give a shit. I think whatever happened was between them, and Lily is dead. So let's put this whole thing to rest, Gray. It's not helping anyone. Gren. I don't know where Lily's shit is. <sighs> Check Holly's room, I don't know. But I wouldn't wake her if I were you. Sleepwalkers and trolls. I think that's the role. Maybe, uh, ogres, too. I thought you said you would help me look. Actually, Big B, if you'll excuse me, it seems that I'm gonna pass out. What a day. Am I right, Sheriff? This guy! What Lily won't remember that. Day. That's fucked up, man. <laughs> Gren won't remember that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that. That's funny. He passed the fuck out. Alright, 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 alright. Rate of alcohol. Uh, I'm not gonna wake her up. I guess. Hmm. Examine the bottle of wine? Did you care about her at all? She was a nice girl. Ran around too much. Of course I cared. I still care. I hope so. I hope you do. Bye, Woogie. Thanks for coming to the stream, bud. Have a good night. They all have those weird ribbons around their neck. I don't know why you fucking came here. There's nothing left for you to ruin. And I'm not in an entertaining mood. I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry for what happened. I'll make it up to you. Ah, uh, sure you will, kid. When the rivers turn coarse and the sky bleeds fucking gypsies. Uh, 
Okay. Oh, hey, look at that address book. Lily's funeral. It was just so fucked tonight. But I still wish you could have been there. I just don't know what Bigby's doing. If he if he cares about it. If he even gives a shit. I don't know. I don't know why he showed up. I just wish he'd get out of my fucking life. He's just... he's trying to do what's right. You think so? Yeah. He's trying, man! Well, he's trying! I know him better than anybody, so... Uh, I guess I'll take your word for it. If you were getting your glamour on this day... One of these has to be the witch. But oh, which one? Which one? Hello, this is Snow White calling. I'm looking for Bigby. Is anyone there? Bigby, if you're there, pick up, okay? Snow? Hey, I just wanted to see how it was going. Did you find anything? Just an address book with her contacts initials. Not sure which one is the witch, though. Strange. These people keep cropping up. Before, a few days ago, I thought I knew everyone at Fable Town. Any chance you can cross-reference these with the records in the business office? Maybe track her down that way. Yeah, but who knows how long that'll take. You should try going up to Crane's place. I sent Buffkin up there to check on things. Bluebeard, you know. Or you could try at the Tweedle's office? Just make it quick. Oh, God damn it. Uh... I'll head over to Crane's apartment. See what I can find there. Sounds good. Just keep me posted. And Did you check for a wicked I'll witch? I can do on this um... Okay. Good luck, Bigby. We'll find Try. him, Snow. I hope you're right. How many witches are there really in Fables? Come on. There's only so many. There's the wicked witch. There's the witch from Snow White. There's the witch from sleep. Okay, there's a lot of witches. There's witch from Sleeping Beauty. There's Ursula. <laughs> Bluebeard burned everything. God damn it, Bluebeard. I tried to stop him, but I got here too late. He wouldn't <laughs> listen to me. Threatened to strangle me if I got too close. Why would Bluebeard come here just to... Burn all the crane stuff. Why the fuck would he burn everything? Something here I could use to find him. There isn't now. What a waste of fucking time. What now? Did you find any information about the witch at the trip trap? Just this. I don't know which one she is, but it's a start. Maybe I can find more at the Tweedle's office. It's worth a try. Okay. I'd better go fill Miss White in on asshole the circle. Asshole blue beard. She's God, be useless very asshole. Disappointed. Good luck. Why is he gonna be disappointed in me? Crane is supposed to be Ichabod Crane from Sleepy Hollow, apparently. Which I didn't know was a fable. I thought that was a movie, but apparently it's a fable. <clears throat> Excuse me. Who is this fuckwad? Oh, hi. Sheriff Bigby. Great, great to see you. I don't know if you remember me. I've, uh, seen you around, but you may have forgotten. I know who you are, Flycatcher. You've worked at the Woodlands for how many years now? <laughs> I think I've lost count. But you know, Crane uh, let me go recently. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I mean, it's no big deal. So, what brings you here? I mean, can I help you with anything? Are you here to see one of the brothers? D or dumb? 
They, they um, are here right now. I'm not sure when they'll be back. Have you seen a witch come by? Um, I don't know. Sometimes. Really? But who is she? Do you know where she lives? Uh, I don't know her name or where she lives, really. She just sometimes drops stuff off for the brothers to deliver. Deliver to who? I've never had any reason to see for myself. Sorry. It's been uh, a quiet night so far. I think the twins are out, probably working on a case. Sometimes I don't see them for days. They gave me the job after Crane told me to get lost. He said I was just in the way. Where's their office? Oh, right this way. I, I was going. I don't know where Blueberry from is, and I don't know where this guy is from either. You can wait for them there. Sure, thanks. No problem. He's obviously not I'm very bright. I'm gonna have to take a look around. Uh, well, I, I guess that would be okay. I wasn't really asking <laughs> Into that for permission. For scoop. Right, you're he the sheriff. He does look like. Just I just don't want to like get in shaggy. trouble or anything. I'm sure it's fine. I mean, they never told me not to let you in. Don't worry. I won't get you in trouble, all right? Right. Uh, yeah, clean up that cigarette, that cigarette I just put out. Uh, let's look at the file cabinet. Let's see if they've got a file on Crane. Ichabod Crane. Probably too easy. He owes the crooked man money. Shit. How was he planning to pay this all back? Request for property acquisition. Further details filed under donkey skin. Crane hired them to look for a photo? Why did he want it back so badly? Was it an incriminating photo? Who is it a beauty? This is worse than I thought. Shit. So that's why they were at her apartment. And the woodsman's place. What? Cinderella? Cinderella's in Europe? The fuck? Detective Brannigan? Keep an eye on her. Oh, that's the detective that talked to Find me anything? and then she was put what to sleep. I, need. Now, I, I know these guys can come off abrasive at times, but they aren't so bad once you get to know them. And they really care about helping people. They're kind of loud at times, but you get used to it. How do you mean they help people? They're detectives. Anyone can come in here with a problem and they'll do their best to fix it. The way Dee explains it, it's like if someone lost their cat, well, they could hire them to, you know, track it down. Or like sometimes, they get packages for people. They can be like couriers, you know? You mean for people other than the witch? Oh yeah, all kinds. Come to think of it, I don't really know where they keep them. Anyways, I'm just saying, you just don't know them like I do. Sure. And you don't know them like I do, flycatcher, Mr. Man. You are a naive little man. Inbox? Dear Brother Dumb, I hate dogs and you know it. Sincerely, Brother D. What the fuck? What's that about? They do have their quirks. <sighs> they just send little messages to each See, other? I knew you wouldn't find anything. Anything of interest, anyways. They're, they're detectives, like I said. Just, just trying to make an honest living. See? Just ignore them. I'm just saying. Look. Just trust me on this. Tweedledee and Dumb are not nice. They're not helping anyone. Well, they helped me. Okay, great. They helped you. That's one person. Now, please, just let me concentrate here. Uh -oh. Dear Brother D, I think we should get ourselves a dog. Sincerely, Brother Dumb. Couple of freaks. <sighs> this is pointless. Not pointless. What if, what if you're wrong? Look around more. I'm not. 
they're misunderstood, sure, but that doesn't mean everything people say about them is true. I mean, you know. What is his actual eyes? They're under there. They're under his hair different. there. I don't you know how he people, sees. And they help people. Not that it's any of my business, but I just wanted to say, you know, give him a chance. Why is people he? Why is he you. so convinced and trying to tell me that these are nice guys? Bigby, shit. There's something here. I know there is. There has to be. Why would there be anything? Because to... they're lying to you, okay, flycatcher? That's why. They aren't detectives. They're hired guns, hitmen. Bigby, what happened to your? You want to know what this is? This is them showing up to Lily's funeral with fucking shotguns. I, I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I I I, I didn't know. Look, flycatcher. I'm trying to find Crane. He's a douchebag. Uh, I, I didn't mean to. What I do? Did I yell at him? I don't remember There's what a I door did. Behind this file cabinet. I don't know what they keep back here, but it might be what you're looking for. Better be what I'm looking for, Frog Prince. Yeah, take one. Of you look like you peed yourself. <laughs> when I first saw the frog head, I'm like, oh, did he ski in the frog man? No, Mr. Toad, no. A secret compartment. Oh, I yelled at him for trusting Tweedles. Well, he's a dumbass. Yeah, what kind of what kind of good guys would have a dark wow. underground secret dungeon? Come on, Frog Prince, get your head out of your ass! All right, where, what are we looking for again? We're looking for, we're looking for the witch's address. What is this? Crooked man. I'm sorry, I know I'm late. I'll get it to you soon. Ichabod Crane. Ooh, Ooh pocket that money. Crooked man, care of the lucky pawn. You know what that is? I'm gonna take the money! Fuck these guys. Plus, I'm broke. Is that what you needed? I don't think so, but it's interesting. There's more going on here. I still need to find that witch, though. What are you looking for, exactly? Maybe I can help. Anything about Crane. Or the witch he was using. Something. this what's this what's this hey big b do you think after all this do you think i could come back to the woodlands since crane let me go i mean i can still work here but i don't think i want to now i don't want to work with bad people you know you should talk to snow maybe there's something she can do for you really that would be thank you Creepy. Snow's hair. Snow White. That's a big Why chunk of hair. How did Snow not notice like that that was gone? Inside Lily's glamour. Auntie Greenleaf. This must be the witch Crane was using. Hold on, hold on, Big. You gotta look for more money. Getting the hair for Crane and sending it to her. That's not a pleasant thought. Auntie Greenleaf. A G. This is it. Uh... Is there a phone around here? I need to call Snow. Right over there. Thanks, Fly. Business office? I know who she is. We got the witch! Big B! I just got here. Yeah, me too. It's number 23. I haven't seen it yet. We're late. Yeah, I know. This is it. All right. How do you want to do this? How am I late? Because I had to go to all the people? Uh, listen. 
Hear anything? If anyone's in there, they're being awfully quiet. Also, you guys are talking really goddamn loud. Uh, how about we knock? Hey, bitch. Hello. Who the fuck? Hi. You woke me up. Uh, sorry about that. Is something wrong? Who are you? Rachel, who are you? Just so we're not strangers. Well, I'm the sheriff, and this is my partner. Boss. Pleased to meet you. How do you do? Is there, um, is there anything you need? Is Auntie Greenleaf at home? Does she live here? You mean my mom? She ever, you know, make the nightstand levitate, turn frogs into cats, that kind of thing? Is she a witch, dear? No, I would never call my mommy that. She treats me all right. Is there something you want? I don't think I can really help you. Maybe come back in the morning. Rachel, she fucking turned herself into a kid. A peek around. We'll be very quick, and he won't touch anything. That's Auntie Greenleaf she turned herself into a kid. I'm calling it right I'm now. I'm calling it all it. night. Nobody's been here. Calling it. Okay, Sheriff. I'm gonna trust you not to break anything. Don't get me in trouble. What are we looking for specifically? Crane. He could still be here. Okay, maybe not. Or maybe it is. No one's been over all night, so... He's just going to check. Shut the It'll fuck up, kid. That your mom? Uh-huh. Where... Let me guess. Big band or classical? Honky tonk. No accounting for taste. Does she smell like old lady, I baby? There yesterday. Oh? It was a pretty one. What is this? Mommy uses that to carve her trinkets. It's from the old world. Trinkets? Um, like glamours? Not here. There's no one here but me. I don't like you, kid. I'm gonna smack the shit out of you if you don't keep- if you- shut the fuck up. I'm gonna Do you like you. broccoli? Not really. I love it. Looks like Nothing a secret like compartment. Either. Nothing. See. What about that partition? Stuff right here. What's in the closet door? Do you have it? The butcher. What's that? A package, having to do with someone called the butcher. I don't even Something. know what kind of honky tonk movie music is. Honky tonk? What kind of music is God that? Damn it. I shouldn't say that. Nothing. I keep getting whiffs of that aftershave of his. I do too. Can I go to bed now, please? Is that a glamour tube? Mommy really doesn't let anyone play with that. Trust me, I've tried. Oh, no, 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 no. Please, 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 just put that back exactly where you found it. No one is allowed to play with it's that. It's all right, honey. Bigby's not going to break no, it. you don't understand. She will freak out if she discovers I've let people in here and let them touch her stuff, okay? She checks all the time to see if things move. I don't want to get in trouble. Snow, come on. Are you kidding? It's a glamour tube. Something's going on here. Something's going on. It smells oh, fishy. Please don't. This isn't what you think. You gotta believe me. The guy isn't here. I promise. It's gonna be okay, Rachel. Please. I'm begging you. I don't wanna. I don't wanna get in trouble. Uh, 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 Auntie Greenleaf. 
I knew it! It hurts when you do it that way. Ha ha! I knew it! What? No more fucking bullshit. Don't lie to me. No more lying. No more lying. No more ring no around the rosy. rosy. No more bullshit, non sequiturs. You're done. It's over. You're gonna tell me what I wanna know right now. All right. Start explaining. And from the beginning. Where's Crane? Speak quickly. I ain't a fortune teller. What are you teller, doing? Wolf. I have no heavenly idea where he went to. You have to know something. Unless you want a recipe for owl stew. Just why in the name of everything holy are you protecting this weaselly scumbag? I mean, what on earth could he have done to deserve this kind of loyalty? Crane could be hollow bones tomorrow, and you wouldn't see me cry a drop. But that doesn't mean I can tell you anything. You have friends, don't you? Well, I don't want Crane's friends for enemies. Sheriff Bigby has evidence that Crane has been murdering young women, at least one that we know of. You might want to check your facts on that. It doesn't matter. I can't help you. I have no interest in being turned into a skink and crushed under boot heels. God damn this fucking witch! There's powers at work here beyond your pathetic authority. Whatever it is, Greenleaf, whatever it is that's keeping you from saying something... We can protect you, okay? Whatever it is you're afraid of, we can make sure that it won't come to pass. You have no idea what's going on, do you? Okay, you know what I think? I think we've been more than patient with you. This witch has been selling illegal glamours that continue to undermine everything we've built. She's harboring a fugitive that took advantage of it, and now she's resisting every attempt to make things right. I frankly don't give a crap if she's afraid for her life. We can at least make sure she never hurts us again. We're destroying the tree. No! Whoa! Damn! How dare you come in here and threaten to take from me the one thing that... That tree is ancient. It's part of the family, and it's the only thing paying for this shithole apartment. And the Fables, who can't afford the glamours from you, come to me for help. Without them, where do you think they could go? Don't give me that. You're making money off of other people's misery. Damn, Snow's getting fucking mad. Of this crap. It's too dangerous leaving this stuff with her. You think I like being the old woman in these stories? The men are heroes, the ladies are whores, and the old hags like me get to watch everyone they love die. We have very different ways of handling our fate. Very different means to handle it, too. And I don't use it as an excuse to wreck people's lives. Isn't there another way? She's a witch. Can't she just work for us? That way she'd be official. You want to reward her for criminal behavior? We can't trust this woman on the 13th floor. It doesn't matter, because I'd never do it. I'm not a house cat, and I don't play well without. Oh, okay, well, fine, no bitch. I was trying to give you an opportunity. Bigby, this is an order. Burn the tree. No, no not you. No, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Crane was here. He was here, and he left. He went to the pudding and pie to try to use my ring on the girls over there to get information. What does the ring do? He thinks it's the ring of dispel. You know, that it will pierce the protection around the girl's speech. He says pulling the truth out of them will prove his innocence. It won't, though. Damn thing lost its power decades ago. I'm sorry, but we still can't let you keep the tree. It wouldn't be right after what's happened. Big B. Please, Sheriff. You know, Snow, you, you are not my boss. my boss yet, Snow. Do you think this is a joke? I'm not burning no, down the fucking no. tree! The fact is, Cole hasn't confirmed you, and until he does, you have absolutely no authority over me. I'm not gonna burn down this tree. All right, let's go. Snow will remember that. Fine, remember it. See if I care. Hey, Greenleaf. Don't think this is over. I won't. Snow is. She's. She. It's too personal for her. She's fucking mad because. Brain used her face for this weird sexual shit. I would have tried to hire her, but she wouldn't have let me. You burned her tree down? That's fucked up, Max. That's Crane's car. 
Yeah, you would have that shitty fucking car. I remember that. No, it's nothing you need to concern yourself with. I don't think so, at least. Shit. Hold on. Sheriff, is there something more I can help you with? You decided you want a taste of the wares? Oh, I see. Come to audition, you bitch. Where's Crane? Ichabod Crane? What would that nerd have with a place like this? Tell me what you know now! That sounds like Crane! God damn it, Georgie. Hey, you can't just go in there! We have a problem. Tell me who did it! Just tell me who did it! I know you know! Mr. Crane, please! She can't help! I know you know what the plan is! Punch Crane in the face! Grab him! Oh my god, Big B! Wait, don't! What? Snow, you're about to fucking burn that witch's tree down and you want me to punch him in the face? I didn't do anything! These girls, the, the, the girls, they'll back me up. I j just have to get the stupid ring working, that's all. I can't talk because of that spell. But once this ring gets through, I'll know what's going on and this whole thing will be over. That's all, please. I'm innocent, completely, completely innocent. The ring won't work. Greenleaf sold you out. What? No. This will work. I assure you, it, it must. I went to you. Damn you. Come on. Please. Tell me who killed her. My lips are sealed. <sighs> How many years? What? How many years has this been going on? Too... Too many. Gross! I didn't oh, do you're that. so gross! Nothing to do with that. I just, I, it just, oh God. We found the photos of you and Lily. I know, I know, that's, that was, I just, I just love you, Snow. I love, I love you, and, and I'm sorry I'm not Prince Charming, okay? Oh, gross. I'm sorry I didn't cheat on you and run away. Ah, uh, Crane. I know what this is. I've seen it before. It is not love. Oh, it's so creepy. Oh, I hate it. Ugh. Bigby? I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? He's not... He wouldn't be brave enough not to put his stamp on the world like that. What do you mean? You don't think he did it at all? If you'd seen the room... I don't need to see the room. There's a lot he has to answer for. There's a lot we all have to answer for. This is different, Snow, and you know it. You said you found evidence of him defrauding Fabletown, of using our money for his own... ambitions. That's one thing. But don't you have doubts he's a murderer? We've both known him for so long. I can't believe I'm hearing this. Did you see how he was acting when you showed up? Yes, I know how this... Why would he even come here if he wasn't covering his tracks? He thought he was being framed. This fuck-up knows more than he's saying. I don't. I don't! Uh, yes, okay, he probably does. But there's a difference between being involved and being the guy who did it. Okay, but if Crane didn't kill Faith and Lily, I'm sorry, but who the hell did? This is bigger than Crane, man. This whole thing is bigger than Crane. He wouldn't have the stones to send the Tweedles after me. Somebody else is involved. Well, shit. I didn't intend for any of this to get so... You've been stealing money from Fabletown for years, haven't you? Yeah. Ugh, he's so gross. So quit your shivering. Ichabod Crane, you are under arrest for the misappropriation of Fabletown funds. You have the right to counsel, the right to depose witnesses, but as of right now, you're coming with us. You are extraordinarily lucky Miss White was here to save your ass. Because if it was up to me, I'd have your head swinging from the Washington Bridge. Okay, Sheriff, that's enough. 
This can't be Greenleaf again and again, behaving however you like, acting without constraint. You have to respect this office, Bigby. What the fuck, you Snow? You were gonna burn down that me. lady's tree! Starting now. You don't get to tell who and who cannot fucking be crazy and out of hand. That office. You think I didn't make sacrifices? I made sacrifices. Snow, I can't handle you right you now. You won't be in that chair one minute before you have to give up something you care about just so the wheels don't fall off the goddamn wagon. I did the best I could with what I had. And the town took everything it could out of me. If I maybe took a little something back in return, then so be it. I have no regrets. Oh, God. If I were you, I'd keep that trap of your shot. I had to do that. I at least had to fuck him up a little bit. Bitch. I don't understand. I don't even, who the fuck could have done it then? I'm so confused. Oh, okay. Stupid girls and their preposterous schemes. What are you saying? Saying you're a fucked up piece of shit. That's what you're saying. Oh great. What is this? What is this? You for real right now. It's probably Bluebeard. What you got there? Look, it's recently come under our attention that you're... How shall I put this? Attempting to claim what is the personal property of the Crooked Man. Who the fuck is the Crooked He's Man? He's high, 120 odd pounds. Pissed his sheets until he was 14. Sound familiar? I haven't told him anything. Not now, not now. Shh. The grown-ups are talking. Who are you? No, 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 no. That's not how this works. How this works is you are going to walk Crane over here like a good doggy. It wasn't my fault. <clears throat> Shut up. You're interfering with official Fabletown business. Step aside. Tweedledee. What's the, uh, you know, that thing the Mundies call me? What? My nickname. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, Bloody Mary. Bloody Ma Mary, that's it. Thank you. And do you know why they call me that? Because some of them, they think it's funny to have their little sleepovers and go into their little bathrooms and say my name five times in the mirror. They find it less funny when I actually show up and feed their lungs to the family dog. <laughs> and I do that for a hobby. Like golf, to relax. He's in custody, so move your car. I told you he'd never just give him up. Is she Mary from Mary a Little Lamb, or is she actually Bloody Mary? Because she does not look like... Fuck it. Oh! Oh, shit! Oh! Oh, God! Whoop! Oh, I missed him. Bigby? What are you- what, is, what am I queuing for? Oh, I'm queuing to become a werewolf! Ah, werewolf time! Do I just have to keep, keep hitting Q? Ugh, keep going! Fuck you guys! Go! 
Why can't I hit W? We're gonna turn into a fucking werewolf and we're gonna eat everything! Fuck you guys! Turn into a goddamn werewolf, Big B, come on! Yeah, let's see what's coming to them trousers. <laughs> Take off your pants. Uh, throw the, the fucking stuff <laughs> around. Destroy everything! I don't know what to do. <laughs> oh, you know what? There's two of them. <laughs> okay, sorry. That was a really evil laugh. I apologize. I just did a really... That was really creepy. I'm... I'm Is that a silver bullet? Big B, no! It was a good show, but you know. It's okay, Big B's not dead. We just didn't know when to end. You know, you wouldn't think silver bullets would work on anything but a pure werewolf. But as it turns out... Get up, Big B! God damn it, Big B! I'm trying to kill as fast as I can! Ah! Right, Wolfie? I can't kill faster! Ah! <laughs> She's so scary! That sounds ridiculous, but... <laughs> <laughs> ah, stop! It hurts! These results? No, stop! No, I can't. Ah, no! Please don't cut off my head! Stop! <sighs> Oh my god, no! Snow, what are you doing? Just take him, okay? Take Crane. Just stop, please. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Snow, uh, stay out of this. It's your lucky day, kid. The crooked man says it's okay with him. Hello, Ichabod. Got a stomach ache? You sick bastard! Oh, and just between us girls? Crane ain't no kill. I mean, look at his face. Couldn't stick a pig if his life depended. Nope. Not like your boyfriend here. Oh, why would you do that? Oh, no! You broke his heart! A beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really. I mean it. I'm jazzed about it. 
Right. She is crazy. Out with the old, in with the new. Long live the queen. I'm sure we'll be in touch. See you around. Oh my god. Oh, this is too intense. Oh my god. Next time on Thor Among Us. He's lucky to be alive. And he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. This is getting worse by the minute. We don't have time to sit around and wait for their next move. I'll get things under control. Woody? I'm not gonna tell you again. Back off, dog. This doesn't concern you. What do you want to talk about? I just wanted to, um, about last night. When people hear what you did to Dumb, they're going to think you've gone back to your old ways. He deserved it! Don't hold out on me, Jack. You've always got some angle. Not this time. I know when a mark's not worth the trouble. Do you? Don't make me come down there to deal with you. I don't want it. You don't want it. <laughs> then again, you don't have much choice at this point, do you? Who does her voice? Who does Bloody Mary's voice? Sounds familiar. Did you interrupt Snow's eulogy? No. What place did you investigate first? Most people investigated the Trip Trap Bar. Most people did not burn the tree, Max. And half the people killed Tweedledum. I think I made some good decisions. Generally speaking.